All right, everybody. Buck Guy and Sky News here. Doing a 1A, 2A audit. Bexley, Ohio. Bexley Police Department. We're going to go down this way. This is the uh, community gardens, as you can see. Sorry for the shaky camera work. We're going to go down here to the police department and tell them what a good job car 54 was doing. We'll see what they think. This row of hedges here marks the boundary of the police department. As you can see, they don't want anybody seeing what they're doing in there. So they got all these hedges in there, so, you know, whatever. That's their prerogative. <coughs> I don't know why they got to hide what they're doing, though. Hey, car 54. Awesome. Maybe you'll come out and speak with me. Yeah, a nice little carport here. Plenty of cruisers. I got some parking control vehicles over there. These guys usually pretty good. We don't usually have too many issues with these guys. How you doing, Chief? Hello. I want. I was looking for car 54. Were you just out there on uh, uh, Cassidy a few minutes ago? A few minutes ago. Yeah, I followed you around the block. Good job. Can I help you? Good job. I wanted to accommodate you because you did a good job. You stopped at every stop sign. You, you uh, used your turn signal. You hit the speed. Good job. I go out and I hold uh, police accountable for their for their actions. And I give them compliments when they do. Uh, so, uh, Mc McCollum, <laughs> badge 12. Uh, good job, man. Good job. I'm going to walk around and take some pictures. All right. Have a good day, sir. Oh, glory flying high today. 559. Five, I think it's Cassingham is the uh, actual address. So McCollum, Officer McCollum, did a fabulous job of following the law and not violating my rights so far. He's kind of sitting there though. We'll see what he has to say next.
He did look down at my pistol. They're not used to that shit. They're not used to people flexing their arms, flexing their rights. Ah, Sally Port. Yep, this has got to be their Sally Port. I didn't see other any other entrances. Generator. And that's where they put you. That's where they put you if you're real bad. <laughs> nah, they don't do shit like that. Alright. These all look like public buildings back here. Let's take a look. Right here. Who's this guy? And this, you know, I'm just doing this freelance. I'm not really sure who this is. Uh, looks like Bexley Streets Department. Definitely city vehicles with the city tags. See if they're taking care of our equipment. Son, you guys need to upgrade. Yeah. Tires all look like they're in good shape, good working order. Son, that plate needs fixed. Boys need to clean my vehicle. Yeah, it looks like their rear tags need to be fixed. I was pulled over one time because one of my numbers, just one of the numbers, had a big scratch in it. They pulled me over and gave me a ticket for it for obstructed plate or I forget what exactly the charge was. It was many, many, many years ago. And they, uh, yeah. Yeah. Two seven 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 is the address. Boy, I wish I knew what the name of this road was. Uh, Delmar, Delmar Drive. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Delmar, definitely. The sign on that door says 2808 Delmar Drive. Let's go take a look back here. See what kind of vehicles we're working with. Kind of warning. Moving gate can cause serious injury or death. And we're just going to take a quick peek back here. Looks like a pretty decent fleet. Road workers. I can't really see them. I'm just looking at them on my lens, so. Tag is expired. Got an expired tag here. It is, uh, it was, let's see, what do we got here? It's um, August 25th, 
7 11 19 is the other date but i can't really make out what it says there get a little closer shot of it Hey, there's my buddy, Car 54, McConnell, I believe his name was. So this is the City of Bexley Garage, uh, Street Maintenance Department, over here. Come on. Come on, McConnell, turn your signal back on. It went off. Turn it back on. There you go. Good man. Good man. three-way stop stop bar no no trespassing signs so we're gonna walk over this way and take a look at the back of the building see if they're hiding anything just as a rule I like to stay in the middle of the parking lots so they can't say, Oh, you were sneaking around. You were hiding. No, sir. If you notice, I'm wearing bright yellow gloves and then just regular clothes. You know, I'm not wearing anything special. Waved at McConnell again. Yeah, he's stalking me. Damn it. I had high hopes for him. Now if he comes up again, guess I'll be asking him why he's stalking me. And these bee boxes. They are honeybees. Yep. Honeybees. A little cold for him today. Uh, temperature, my car was telling me it was 32. Man, that's freezing. But they do have honeybees out here. Awesome. Uh, there is a some sort of a blight or a um, infection or something that's killing off the honeybees in America. Don't know what's up with that. But uh, they are uh, dwindling, and we need them. I like honey yep there he is down there at the end of the street stalking me the hell's he doing man he must perceive little old me as a threat well I guess everybody's entitled to their opinion <coughs> yeah he's still sitting down there he just rolled out we'll get a few pictures of this this side of the building. There's one back here idling. Not really sure which one it is. Dude, he's sitting down there at the corner. Never leaving the sidewalk and never even stepped across that crack.
Well, at least the sun's out today. Back around here to the community gardens. I think since, uh, since McConnell, I believe his name was, Badge 12, is stalking me, I think what I'll do is make one more trip around. I've waved at McConnell twice now. Once when he was over on the other street, and then once when he was crossing the intersection down there, I waved at him. And I know he saw me. I don't see anybody in these cruisers. If you listen real close, one of these two here on the end is running. You know what? I feel like going for a walk. Do you? All right. I bet you a donut he leaves before I get down there. I'm going to walk down there and confront him while he's following me. I mean, we had a cordial conversation. I gave him compliments. I mean, that right there should tell him that I'm no real threat. Oh, they got bicycles back there. Tagged. Probably stolen. Since he's watching, I will go to the crosswalk. That needs fixed. at uh, a gym of some sort personal fitness navigators we're right next to the ice cream place nice so when you get done working out when you get done with your personal fitness navigations you can navigate right over here and get yourself some ice cream that's funny I'm sorry I had to check that out Yep, that's 54. Ah, 
think I'll bring the attention, bring it to his attention that I'll be watching the uh what's this? Oh Bexley Automotive. Yeah, he's just sitting there watching me. We'll go down there and have a chat with him real quick. We'll go ask him if there's a reason why he's watching me. See what we can find out. Hey, you doing, Kyle? You, uh, well, I wonder why you're watching me, for one. Well, I have speed for flights up here, and I also have stop signs to watch. Yeah, okay. Right. Kind of looked like you was watching me, because you kind of circled the block a couple of times, and then you parked here watching me yeah, walk it up and down. I'm watching you a little bit, too. Okay, you can ask why. Well, not normal behavior to be filming a police station. I agree. Also, you have a sidearm there. Is it illegal? It's not illegal. Thank you. But we do get calls about it. Okay, well, so we just I mean no harm, just to let you know. I mean, I come up I to you, shook your hand, said hey, and let you know what I was doing. Okay. I just don't want to get shot for, for, for exercising my rights. You have that Second Amendment right? Absolutely, right. I do. When you walk around with it, especially, you might just take Oh, your hand sorry. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a force of habit. I'll, I'll keep the camera in this just, hand. Just for my comfort. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. You. It's just a matter of, you know, we do get calls. Absolutely. People don't walk around with an open carry. Typically, we do get. I've been waiting for a call. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you I mean, what. Tell him it's a videographer. He's out doing a story on the Bexley Police Department, and it's absolutely fine. All right. If call comes through dispatch, I mean, no, I have no ill will, right. no ill intent. Just walking around taking pictures, ex exercising my First and Second Amendment rights. You're perfectly good to do that. My man, thank you very much for saying that. Right. Uh, I'm going to mosey up this way and around, probably up that way, right. to get a call. All right. Have a good day. Just one question. May I have your name? No. No, you may not. I never identify myself to police unless I'm under arrest. Isn't that the law? That's the law. Stop an ID state. Well, I do my research. I can also ask. That's true. Nothing. You absolutely have the absolute right to ask. Mm -hmm. And I have the absolute right to respectfully decline. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, I did want to bring up one thing. I was checking the tags on all these vehicles. Yes. The trailer is expired. The white trailer right here. On hooked up to a city vehicle on this side of the road. Right there. Sticker. No, the, it's a 30-day tag or a 45-day tag. It's expired. It was in August. It was on a city vehicle? Yeah, well, it's hooked to a city vehicle, so I can only imagine it belongs to a city. Might want to look into that, get it, it taken care of. Well, that's what I'm saying. And also, their tags, and, and not that it burns my ass or anything, but the uh, I got pulled over about 15 years ago because one of my numbers was scratched. He gave me for, I think it was obstructed plate or something like that. And he, uh, and he wrote me a, I was like an $85 ticket or something. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that the three vehicles parked in front, the city vehicles, the tags are completely trashed. They're dented in. You can't even hardly read them. They're rusted. They're in really, really bad shape. Yeah, they, they take so, abuse. I know. We'll trailer we'll hitches. We'll trailer department. hitches is what it is. We'll I know what it is. notify the service department. Yeah. Like, That's all I ask. Is I, I, I knocked on the door, but nobody answered. I imagine they're all gone for the weekend it's or whatever. Sunday. So, yeah. Unless there's a major issue such as water line. Water main, water main yeah. something like that. Yeah. But I wanted to let you know that um, I'll come back around check in, a, in about a month or so. See if it got taken care of. If not, then I will go in and take care of it myself, I guess. So appreciate it, sir. Have a good day. Be safe out there too. <laughs> so that was badge twelve. Uh McConnell, I believe his name was, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Refer to the beginning of the video for that. He did ID himself. And yes, I have no problem approaching a police officer with a pistol and a, and a camera.
It's not normal. <laughs> Whatever. Well, coming up on the back side, <coughs> excuse me, coming up on the back side of the, the city street department, that's a building there in front of me. Ah, a little better. At least there's no food and stuff all over it. 